All right, guys, so I'm going to do something a little fun, a little less deep. <laughs> I am going to show you guys what's on my iPhone, my apps and all the stuff that I use um, on a regular basis, pretty much. I hate that I really have to use a lot of stuff on my phone. I feel like sometimes I don't even need an app. Like, why is there an app for that? I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite apps that I have on my phone. I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all something interesting. Well, this app, Fu Fuji Film, the Fuji Film app right here I love this Fujifilm app because I love pictures and I always have pictures and stuff that I want to print out and put on my wall I actually have a huge collage on my wall I love this what you do is you connect it to a kiosk from Walmart or you could take the pictures from your phone and order them and you can have them sent to Walmart and when you get to Walmart your photos will be ready and you don't have to worry about sitting at the kiosk or waiting on anybody your pictures are already ready but they're just print so I love that I have active on my phone I love active active is a workout app that you can use um, to lose weight and work out in it and it's really good for um, like if you're at the gym and you kind of you do the treadmill or you do the elliptical and you kind of get bored of just sitting there there are actually little workouts that you can do while you're on your elliptical at the gym they have trainers for everything like there's a workout for everything I love it they have running on here they have all kinds of tr strength training outdoor running cycling indoor gym they even have workouts for pregnant women maternity programs yoga boxing it's endless it's $14.99 a month I think I think when I first joined it was like $10 a month okay <laughs> so I have flow on my as an app. Um, Flow is basically an app for you to keep up with your period, your menstrual cycle, stuff that's going on with your body. It keeps up with the steps. It shows you how many steps you've taken for the day. I mean, it's all kinds of little cute stuff that they have on here. It shows you when you're ovulating. Um, for those of you who do not know, I do not do birth control at all. <laughs> so I definitely have to watch um, when my period is coming on and the days that I'm ovulating because I do not do birth control. I think birth control is destroying women and it's making everybody crazy and I think it should be something that should be taken off the market. Please don't take birth control, but if that's what you do, then that's what you do. But I do not do birth control, so I do use these apps. And I think a lot of women are, are beginning to get off of birth control and they're starting to become more aware of their bodies and all this and that. Alright, so my next app that I have on my phone is Pinterest that I just want to share with you guys. Pinterest is the bomb. When I tell you I use Pinterest for everything, I have so many ideas and I'm very creative. I'm a very crafty person. I like doing different things and I get a ton of different ideas from Pinterest. I don't feel like I need to elaborate too much in Pinterest, but I love that. See, this is so cute. That is a mirror that is like decorated in flowers um, isn't that cute that is so cute wow you know I'm just gonna totally it makes me want to like go and do creative stuff so check out Pinterest they have recipes on there when I was um like really starting to lose weight and work out I use a lot of the recipes from Pinterest excuse me to get everything going so yeah Pinterest oh I have the Bible up here y'all I love this Bible app it's a great way. Now, if you're not a religious person, this probably this ain't for you. But I, um, I, I try to read the Bible. I'm not as good as I would like to be, but it keeps up with everything. It shows you your streaks. Um, I get little Bible verses every morning before I wake up, when I wake up in the morning. And it's a great way for somebody who doesn't read the Bible, who wants to get something from the Bible to kind of fill you up and it gives you what you need it kind of like fills your soul up for the day and it's a good thing to have when you first seen it in the morning and lately i've been kind of stressed <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie about that things have just been kind of like crazy in my life so there are things for everything there's no excuse there are they have bible plans for soul rest renewal um 
if you're a married person and you're having problems in your marriage, they have stuff about your marriage. So, I mean, there's no reason for anybody to need counseling or anything like that. When there's the Bible, you have the Bible right literally at the palm of your freaking fingertips. So, I love this app. And I definitely wanted to share that with you guys because that's just who I am. Credit Karma is very important, especially if you are a millennial and you're just getting out there in the world and you're trying to buy a house or a car. You need to know your credit. You need to know what's going on with your credit score. I like the little apps that Apple has. Team Apple, okay? I, I hate that they're so damn expensive, but it is what it is. See, like, my credit score... It needs some work, big time. But I like how Apple has the little um, thumbprint identification on your phone so that you know you're getting into your account and ain't nobody trying to get in there. Yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. I have a Facebook page, not the Facebook, but the Facebook page account manager. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I do have a home-based business where I make cake pops and strawberries and I do things for birthday parties and events and corporate events and all that kind of stuff. Eventually I do plan on getting um, everything up and going to where I can start shipping orders. I actually leave my Facebook page where you can, guys can go check that out. My uh, I did have a website but I don't have it up right now my Etsy page and my Instagram page. I'm gonna put all of that stuff down below so y'all can see that. But this is my page, you guys, and this is where I keep up. This is the app that I keep up with my analytics and who's messaging me, who wants to order stuff from me. Um, it keeps up with all of my posts firsthand. I can post things from this app as dip by C and not as you know, Crystal, you know, my personal page. I love it. I love it. I love it. I use it all the freaking time. I, um, I love how Facebook is starting to make everything so much more simpler for people who have businesses. Oh my gosh. So if you have a business, Facebook page, the account manager, not the Facebook page, Facebook app, but this is what the, uh, this is what it looks like right here. It's a little thing right here with a flag so I use that all the time and I do have PayPal on my phone because um, you know I use this a lot for my credit card payments or people who want to pay me with their debit card or people who don't have a bank account and they want to use PayPal or whatever so I use this a lot I'm going to be using Square eventually because my PayPal card reader stopped working and they want me to buy one and I'm not okay with that because that one was working perfectly fine there was nothing wrong with this so if I can save a few extra pennies um, from getting a free square reader then that's just what I do um, so that brings me to square I do have a square reader and it's actually on the way um, but it allows you to accept credit card payments right from your phone so the next app that I have is Facebook ads the app and I basically use this app this is the app right here Ooh. I use Facebook ads app because it keeps up with my ads on Facebook like my spending and my performances and my um, what do they call it <laughs> performances and you can keep up with pretty much everything all the details, the demographics, who's watching your your ads, who are you targeting, all that, all that. If you're not really into ads and business and all that kind of stuff, then you probably wouldn't understand what I'm saying. But yeah, that's what I use a lot. I haven't really, I've kind of slowed down on buying Facebook ads because Facebook ads are getting expensive, bro. Like, I could share an ad and have it run for like a day at, for $5 and when I get my bill it's like 10 damn dollars and I'm like good god almighty like bro like, why is it so expensive so basically what they're doing is charging more people for ads because they charge you based on your impression clicks based on your actual performance so nine times out of ten if you're if you're putting an ad out there and you're spending 
$5 and you're having to pay 10 that means people are really responding to your ads and you should probably, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I have Capital, the Capital app. This is a personal banking app, you guys, that I love. I keep, you can open your own little separate accounts on here. It's a great way if you're somebody that is terrible at saving money. Let me tell you, I am literally, I think I'm the, I'm the person, I spend more money than I know I need to, but I, I, it, I could not save money. And because of this app, I have been able to save a lot of money and it's way more than I thought I would ever have. But when you have, when you think about it, you really spend a lot of money. You gotta think about it. Like Starbucks, $5. If you're doing that every day, if you're spending $5, even if you're spending $5 a week on Starbucks, that's still $20 a month. And $20 adds up. $20 times 12 is what? It's something. But it's a lot of money, okay? That you could be putting towards a vacation, a car, some other type of investment. So it, it shows you how much you're spending on what. It tells you how much you're spending on what. And I noticed that a lot of banks are starting to do that now, but it it is awesome because there's no charge every month. There's no ATM fee charge. I think there is though. I think it's like two or three dollars. But most most of the stuff is free on here. They give you a card for free. They give you access to everything. Like you can save everything. They they is there's goals on there. You can save up for a car. You can save up for. Um, a house and there's different ways to do it you can put they can have it the way you're only putting like a dollar a week in there or you know they can take 20 percent of your deposits and put it in there it's just so many different ways um to do it and uh, my favorite one that i love to use are the the favorite my favorite rule is the roundup rule if you only have three dollars in your account and believe me mine has gotten that low and you buy something for a dollar and fifty cent and it's gonna round it up to two dollars that that fifty cent really does make a difference <laughs> cuz when you getting up to two dollars you ain't got but a dollar left in your account and that really does make a difference and you don't want to do that so uh, capital you guys check capital out I'll leave all the links to um, all this stuff in the in the description I'm gonna have to do a little work yes next app is mercury oh my gosh y'all I love this app mercury is the bomb dom boo the bomb dom dot com ooh, 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 ooh. they have so much stuff on here if y'all want some good quality stuff and you don't want to pay that much for it mercury is awesome I buy all my I buy my lashes from mercury I bought I bought some books from them I pretty much buy a lot of stuff from mercury I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff but if I'm looking for something good and um I don't want to spend a lot of money on it then I buy it from Mercury even though Amazon does have like they have a lot of stuff on there but you're gonna get generic shit you know what I'm saying you're not really gonna get the real deal I don't know if I can explain that any but um, yes you guys ha ha I love 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 this app they have um, let me tell you, I bought some lashes from Mercury. These lashes are the bomb. The bomb, bomb. Not the ones that I have on, but I bought them from Mercury, and I cannot find them anymore. They are the best lashes that I ever bought. But yeah, if you are into makeup, which I am, they have really, like, they have Ki the Kylie collection, Anastasia I mean just makeup on here that some people have gotten and they don't use or they got it they bought it and they didn't like it or something like that they sell stuff on there keep in mind that you will have to pay shipping for some of these products but they do have they're really really good about giving you like five dollar off deals for every twenty dollars that you spend so you still be saving it so I love the mercury app It's off the chain all right, so I am going to kick this on down some. I have my CSU app on here. That's my college app where I go to school and I keep up with my grades and I can do my little discussion posts from my phone, which is off the chain. Um, 
I love that. Let's see what else is interesting on here. Um, Audible. I have Audible. This is the free trial, though. I, I'm just checking it out. I'm reading the book, but I don't know if I'm really going to like it because I just kind of like it. It's nothing to do with Audible or the app, but I just really like getting into reading a book, like doing it the old-fashioned way. I feel like I retain it better when I'm looking at it myself and actually seeing and looking at the words and pages i think i just get it that better now mind you i mean it's it's a great thing to have when you want to listen to something good and you don't want to read but i for the most part probably will not be using it like that i'll just you know continue with my books okay oh last last one the photo math app you guys oh my gosh when I was in, I was taking a math class, y'all, and let me tell you, this app was life. It was life or death with this app. Without this app, I probably would not have passed <laughs> math, but this app will allow you to take pictures from your phone. It will allow you to take pictures. See, it's showing me, but it will allow you to take pictures of something. It'll scan it, and it will solve the problem for you and not only will it solve the problem for you but it will break it down and show you actually how the problem was solved that doesn't that help don't you wish y'all y'all would have had that in the victorian of my class <laughs> okay so yes i'm done that's it yeah <laughs> i will see you guys on the next video and until then peace